In 2004, they travelled 4,000 miles, performing 150 shows in 97 days across 50 cities. This amount of touring takes its toll on a group and the individual members. After 15 years on the road, one of the Wiggles could no longer continue. Greg Page had decided that he would have to leave the Wiggles and pre-recorded an emotional farewell message. For some time now, I've been suffering from a condition which I've recently found out is chronic. It's a condition called orthostatic intolerance, which basically means that when I stand up, my heart doesn't pump enough blood around my body. Now, it's not a life-threatening condition by any means, but it is one that's going to be with me for the rest of my life, and it will mean that I have to make some changes to my life in order to manage it. For, for, for a while um, before Greg left, it was kind of clear that um, he wasn't 100%, he wasn't totally well. Well, Greg's illness would manifest itself in, in that he would have uh, fainting spells. He couldn't handle a lot of the flash bulbs and he couldn't handle a lot of all the people surrounding him because it was literally making him sick. And I got so concerned, I was like, you need to go see a doctor, you need to figure out what's going on. But he never wanted to do it because he never wanted to miss the show. We noticed it more and more as we went on. Uh, he'd be at a meet and greet, meeting children, and he'd faint, or maybe 30 seconds before we went on stage, he'd collapse. And uh, I think Sam filled in for him nearly 200 times. Uh, there was times where he would run off stage in, uh, midway through a song and, and indicate for me to take over because he had to take a break. Um, there was also times where the overture was playing and he realised he, could, he realised he couldn't go on and, and I had to quickly <laughs> put the yellow skivvy on and run out there and, and start the show. There was an obvious point where it started occurring too much for him to go on doing the lifestyle that we li lived. And you know that's it's sad. It was a very sad time, um, for lots of reasons. I mean, the four of us had gone so far together, and um, and we were friends. We're, and we, you know, we still are. And but yeah, I do miss Greg um, in the in the group and on the road. And uh, and I know a lot of other people do too. If proof was ever needed to show the success of the Wiggles, news of Greg's departure was reported worldwide. You know, the fact that uh, it was reported on the front of the New York Times that, uh, you know, Greg had left the Wiggles was, um, you know, that wouldn't happen to any other band in Australia, any other band in the world, I can't think of that actually making the front page. The changing of a, a member in a major act is always going to be fraught with some, with some difficulties. It seems to me that, uh, well, ACDC pulled it off incredibly, incredibly well by, by necessity. I mean, over the years, the Doobie Brothers and there's been a few other acts have done it. But, you know, it can just, just as easily fall as well. Murray, myself and Jeff, after Greg left, decided to keep going. And we could have uh, retired as well, but we still enjoy it. We still feel like we can still entertain children and families. Fortunately, there being four really creative people meant that it, it, it wasn't the only creative part had left. And the fact that Sam had been working with us for a long time made the transition easier as well because he, he understood the, the process as well. He understood the, the ethics of, of the early childhood training and all that stuff because he'd been a long time worker with us. I became Greg's understudy about five years before um, taking over the Yellow Eagle. Um, I just finished a job in IT actually and Anthony had asked me to come do some recording and then Greg was scheduled to have a knee operation I think and couldn't do a tour. So they asked me to fill in for that tour and then they, I think they realised after those two, that two week tour they needed somebody to be able to fill in for Greg whenever he was sick. Right now I'm going to officially hand over the yellow skivvy to the new yellow wiggle, Sam Moran. Thanks Greg. Sam is so talented when it comes to singing and dancing and really getting the audience on their feet with his voice. I do remember the day I was asked to become the Yellow Wiggle full time. Anthony came and and spoke to me and my wife Lynn was on the tour at the, on the road at the time so sat us down and, and said that the show had been feeling really comfortable with me in that role and that they'd like me to continue doing it full time. There was a, certainly a nervousness about the transition um, but I think that because the communication with the audience was so well executed 
that it was presented to the kids and to the fans, uh, that the handover was very public. Once Sam moved in and took over for Greg, it was very smooth because everybody realized it is about red, purple, yellow, blue, and it is preschool, and it is the music, and they are the characters. So it was very successful the way they transitioned from Greg through Sam.